asifiwe. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Ongapi uko na furaha kuwa katika nyumba ya Bwana adhuri ya leo. Haleluya. Amen. Naenda kumsifu Bwana sababu ye ni mwemba na ametenda mema. Amen.
Yeni sababu jioni ya leo. Wewe ni sababu. Wewe ni sababu. Wewe ni sababu. Ya mimi kuishi. Wewe ni sababu. Wewe ni Tuko chini ya nyayo za kwe mfalme Tunalinua jina lako Tunalitukuza ni kwa mana Kuna alieka mwebwana Tunanyenyekea miguni pako ni kwa mana Wewe ni sababu Jianu ya leo kuwa mahali hapa yesu Megaramikia mkono wako Tizama wana ibada ya siku ya leo Mbayo mungu tuendapu kuyanzisha Kwa dakika mbazo wana zimesalia Tunakuomba wana ukapate kuwa sababu Ya ibada ya siku ya leo Tuendapo kuona mungu kiisha, akika buwana tuasemani ya sante Na pia mnenaji mungu tunaweka mikono ni mwako Mtumie kama chombo chako mfalme ni kwa maana ya kusudio ya neno lako jiova Tuendapo kuona mwisho wa kila jambo, kumbusha nafsuze kutusemani ya sante Na nikajitika jina la Yesu Kristo ni meomba na kushukuru Baba yetu liye niguni Praise, praise God. Chairman Karib. Buenas viewer. We want to take this opportunity to welcome all of you uh, this afternoon. We know today is 24th. Nakira Kichwa Inasema Census. Sidio. And that is why we will change the timings. And actually that's why we do not even have enough time for worship this evening. We will try and do everything as quickly as possible so that you can go home, obey the law. And we must also obey the law and uh, get counted. Thank you all of you for coming. You can see that a lot of you left whatever you're doing on a Saturday to come. I want to th welcome and thank you, uh, uh, Reverend Bogo, still being with us. He has been talking to the youth and he's still here to talk uh, to us 
this afternoon. Do we have any visitor that's outside Milele and St. Margaret, other than the Reverend I've mentioned? Any visitor? Buzz, uh, greet the person next to you. Mobisa, Karibu Sana, Karibu Sana, St. Margaret. Asante Sana. And because we do not have a lot of time, uh, we will want the reading to be done. We will welcome our minister so that he can welcome Reverend Bogo. There are very many ministers, so <laughs> one of the ministers. Yes, Makofi Gobana Yesu. Hallelujah. Basi ni chukue na fasi hii kutambua wepo wa dad ndani ya nyumba. Chungaji asante. Mam ndani ya nyumba asante. Mchungaji Fibi ndani ya nyumba asante sana. Na elder, elder kuna elders wengi ndani ya nyumba lakini <laughs> tutambue pia uwepo wa evangelist Asante mke wake Asante wakangu bado mwenzangu uko njiani hajafika Basi nichukue nafasi hii kumkaribisha mtumishi wa Mungu karibu sana Asante makofi mazuri Bwana asifiwe Bwana asifiwe. Imekuwa ni leo ni ile ya marathon lakini nafikiri marathon yenyewe itakuwa kesho. I'm just from the pulpit with the youths. Na sasa tuko pamoja na wewe. Na from here tomorrow again we will run the race until we finish the race. Bwana asifiwe. Asanteni sana kwa makadibisho makubwa ambayo nimepokea kwenu. Mungu wetu abariki. I want to thank God for the leadership of the church kwa kuwa na nafasi ya kunikaribisha hapa Mombasa. Ningetaka nizungumuze I understand we will not have enough time today as I would have wished to but uh, we will do what we can within the maybe like 20 minutes ndio tuweze kufuata sheria vile chairman daktari amesema it is always good to keep the law of the land ndio tusionekane kama sisi sio watu wa kutii sauti ya viongozi um i have looked at uh, five chapters already ya uh, Joshua i've touched on chapter 6 as well but i want to go back to chapter 6 chapter 6 we didn't do much on it and uh, I have a topic which I may not be able to finish on it, but I'll try to cover quite a bit of the ground in the short time that I have. Um, I want to be speaking to you this afternoon about spiritual warfare. Spiritual warfare. Kwa kizwahili ni vita vya kiroho. Vita vya kiroho. I want to read for myself in the interest of time. If you have chapter 6 of the book of Joshua, verse 1, then I will be going to the book of First Peter, mlango wa kwanza, kuanzia mustari labda wa kuminanane pale. Lakini kwanza, I will read in King James Version, Victory at Jericho. There is a small subtitle. Victory at Jericho. The Bible says, Now Jericho was straightly shut up because of the children of Israel. None went out and none came in. And the Lord said to Joshua, See, I have given into thy hand Jericho and the king thereof and the mighty men of valor and ye shall compass the city all ye men of war and go round about the city once that shall thou do 
six days. And if and seven and seven priests shall bear before the ark seven trumpets of rams of ram horns and the seventh day you shall encompass the city seven times and the priest shall blow with the trumpet and it shall come to pass that when they make a long blast with the ram's horns when ye hear the second the sound of the trumpet lather, all the people shall shout with a great shout and the wall of the city shall fall down flat and the people shall ascend up every man straight before him. And Joshua the son of Nun called the priests and said unto them, Take up the ark of the covenant and let seven priests bear seven trumpets of rams horns before the ark of the Lord. I want us to jump a few verses. Jump a few verses. Let's go to... Um, let's start over again from verse 18. Verse 18, if you will. And ye, in any wise, keep yourself from their cursed things, lest ye make yourself a cursed when you take of the accursed things and make the camp of Israel a curse and trouble it. From there, I would like us to go to the other book, the book of First Peter. I love the reading of the scriptures. Many times when the reading of the scriptures is being done, we stand on our feet for the public reading of the scriptures. Because it's very, very important. First Peter, if you can find that. Petera wa kwanza, mulango wa kwanza. Nasoma mustadi wa kumina nane. Nasoma mistadi miwili na kumina tisa. Mulango wa kwanza, petelo. Petelo wa kwanza, mulango wa kwanza. Mustadi wa kumina nane na kumina tisa. Again in King James Version. For as much as you know that ye were not redeemed with the corrupt, corruptible things as silver and gold from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers. Verse 19. But with the precious blood of Christ is of a lamb without a blemish and without spot. Praise the Lord. Bwana sifiwe. Ningetaka tuzungumuzie vita vya kiroho maana kitabu cha Yeshua nilisema pale mwanzo siku ya Alhamisi ya kwamba jina la huyu mtumishi wa Mungu linamaanisha Yahweh is God. Na jina lake likitafsiriwa katika ki Hebrew tongue tukapata ni jina lile lile Yesu Kristo hakuna tofauti na katika hiki kitabu utapata kazi kubwa ambayo mtumishi wa Mungu alikuwa nayo according to the mission that he was given by God was to do what mlango wa kwanza tulisoma hapo chapter 1 pale tulisema arise alipoambiwa arise na hiyo ndiyo theme yetu ya conference hii ama congress alipoambiwa arise aliambiwa wewe ndiye ambaye utasaidia wana wa Israeli ili waweze kuingia
katika urithi ambao niliwaapa kwa baba zao nitawapatia amen that was his mission one of the things i do when i go to do work for organizations is to check their mission statements their vision statements their core values tuone kama zinaandamana na ile kazi hiyo kampuni inafanya ama kuna shida in a nutshell mission ya Joshua ilikuwa ni kumaliza kazi ambayo Musa mtumishi wa Mungu aliwacha haijakamilika Musa katika mrango wa mwisho wa kitabu ambacho kiko papo mbele Deuteronomy 34 anaambiwa kwea juu ya mlima ufe lakini nataka nikuonyeshe inchi ambayo nilisema nitawapatia na alipoangalia nchi ile baada ya kumwambia Mungu nikitaka niingie Mungu akasema hapana hautaingia. Alipokufa pale mlango wa kwanza ambao unafuatiwa ni Joshua 1 ambao maandiko nasema ya kwamba inuka Yoshua maana mtumishi wangu Musa ameaga na wewe ndiye utasaidia hawa wana wa Israeli kuingia katika ulithi ambao niliapa nitawapatia. That was a serious task ambao amepatiwa. Si kazi laisi. You can imagine for 40 years wametembea kwenye jangwa. This man had seen all the miracles. Majanga yote ambayo yalifanyika pale Misri wakati Mungu alikuwa na deal na, na mtumishi wa wa, wa nchi ile mfalme. Na alikuwa amekatalia wana wa Israeli wasiende. Lakini maandiko inasema ikafikia wakati wakamwachilia Israeli akaachiliwa aende kwenye jangwa Joshua akaangalia akaona matendo makubwa ambayo yalifanyika hakufikiria not even in his wildest imaginations that the honest task ya kusaidia hawa watu kuingia ingekuwa ni kazi yake it must have come as a shocker for Joshua how me today nimeshare na youths I, i picked a text from jeremiah chapter 1 ambayo inasema jeremiah alipoambiwa ni wewe and was a young person alisema how who where mimi siwezi mimi ni mtoto joshua pia angesema siwezi because the task was too much lakini mungu kuna ahadi alikuwa amemfanyia akamwambia ya kwanza kama jinsi nilikuwa na Musa nitakuwa na wewe sita kupungukia i will not fail you the purposes i had with moses i will fulfill them through you say amen that was one promise promise number two. alimwambia kwamba popote mtakanyanga na miguu nyayo ya miguu yenu nimewapatia it was so physical mkikanyanga nimewapatia that was number two. Promise number three. Hakuna mtu awaye yeyote ambaye ataweza kusimama mbele yako Yoshua na Israeli siku zote za maisha yenu. Now that's why I I I, I pause. Because hiyo ni vita imetangazwa na Mungu. Wakati tulikuwa vijana Tukwatu tunaweka ilikuwa inaitwa ajata. Mnajua ajata? Ndio <laughs> karigitho you know these things. Inawekwa hapa. Unaambiwa dari ajata. Ako nilo kwa kuona bara. How many did that? Eh? Hata mchungaji ulikuwa hapo. Ajata <laughs> ilikuwa inawekwa hapa kwa mkono. Unaambiwa kama unataka kuona vumbi, fanya nini? Toa hiyo. Sasa katika mstari wa tano Mungu ameweka dari ajata. Ondoa tuone. Ame ameweka line on the ground. Amesema you know Ihesi ya Mwen, you know kulikuwa na vijana wa, wa more more na Ihesi ya more more eh? So we used to like, put a line and tell them kama mnataka kuona vita mcross your line muone. Na maana wamejikakamua wanafanya nini? Si vita imetokea. Sangina haitakuwa ya watu wawili, itakuwa ni ya grupu ya this rongo and this other rongo. 
ya vita kali ambao labda wazazi watakuja kufanya nini? Ingine ilikuwa na wakati wa sports. Eh? Shule yetu na shule ingine. Siku ya sports itapikano katika uwanja lakini itamalizibwa huko kwa streets. Eh? Kwa vita. What God has done here now ameweka jata. He has crossed a line on the ground. Anasema mtu aweze ajaribu kusimama mbele yako Joshua. Na mimi nitaonana na yeye. Hiyo ni vita. That's why I want to talk about I can't do this message of arising in Joshua 24:15 without talking about spiritual warfare. Because if you read if you come to Exodus 15 verse 3, the Bible says the Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. Did you know it says that? Exodus 15 verse 3. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. Atia ni mtu wa nini? Wa vita. Sijui ni wangapi mnaelewa ya kwamba maisha ya Ukristo ya kiroho you are enlisted in the military of God. Wewe unapigana vita, siku ile ulisema umeokoka. Uliingia kwenye uwanja wa vita. Whether you like it or not. Na wengine huwa mnaomba maombi ya aina hii. Ati shetani sitakuguza na wewe usini guze Si wewe mnaomba hiyo maombi maana mnamuopa na yule mganga ako hapo karibu na kwenu eh Usiniguze na mimi sitafanya nini Maana uko na covenant na Yesu Kristo umekuja kutengeneza ingine na shetani unamwambia usinishike Ni diko na uru nawe Sina ubaya na nani na wewe Sita kuguza mimi na wewe usiniguze Does the devil understand that language? Let me tell you he doesn't understand that language. Jaribu kumwambia kesho asubuhi atakuwa na bisha mlango wako. Na shida na matatizo za kila aina. He doesn't understand it. Never make that kind of a prayer. The moment you became a Christian, you were enlisted in the army of God. You become a warrior. Si watu namuita Mungu the Lord of Hosts. Have you seen that title? All the names we have given to God, the Lord of hosts. Inamaanisha ni who are the hosts? Kwa Kiswahili inasema nini? Ninje wa Kiswahili kunishinda. Bwana wa Bwana wa majeshi. Inamaanisha hivyo. Haya majeshi yako wapi? Eh? Ni ninyi. Ni ninyi. Ulipoitwa na mwito huu, uliitwa kwa mwito wa vita umpambane umenyane lakini you are on the winning side you are not fighting on the losing side you are fighting on the winning side your battle has already been won on the cross of calvary jesus said it is finished our work in the world is to enforce the victory of the cross of calvary that's what we are doing enforcing the victory Mlango wa sita wa Yoshua hapo ndio vita ya kwanza ilitokea Wakati Mungu alimwambia Yoshua ya kwamba ni wewe utasaidia hawa kuingia katika inchi ya ahadi ilimaanisha nimekuita kwa vita sasa Ilikuwa tangazo la nini Unajua there are times like yesterday morning the water was saying Eh? I've only done one day in Mombasa. Then somebody is calling me from Nairobi. Oh, we want you to come back this crisis. And I know it is the same old foolish tricks of the enemy. And I said I can't abandon my mission in Mombasa. I can't do it. And I knew when you wananiambia nirudi, they don't understand spiritual warfare. That's the problem. And and these are born again people. And that's the problem with the church people. They don't understand spiritual warfare. And that is why I need to talk to you about understanding spiritual warfare. Utajuaje vita vimetangazwa? Maana sio Mungu peke yake ambaye utangaza vita, shetani pia utangaza vita. When I'm told my son I could get roots. Wanasema nataka kumwadmit. Hiyo ni vita imetangazwa na kwa kuzimu. Maana wameona kazi ya Mombasa vile inaendelea. 
wakasema nini hatafanya hiyo ka hatafanya hiyo kazi and the people who are telling me to go back my own family you can't say in Mombasa this is the crisis we have and i prayed on phone with my son at Gatrol's hospital and i'm still happy to report as yesterday he's doing so well he's at home doing his work dale hado devil is a liar and so is his mother in law give the lord a clap offering of praise devil is a liar and they say so is his mother in law naitwa mama muko ama naitwa mama nani anaitwa mama mama nani mswahili reverend mama mkwe at yeye ni muongo because if i wasn't a man of faith ningefanya nini eh ningeza kupigia reverend my host munyoroko na mwambia please i'm going back to nairobi eh can we get a flight for to, today ili nikimbia nikafanya nini and then the mission ya shetani ngekoi mekamilika because his work is to stop me from doing what i'm doing every morning i wake up i know i am on the hit list of the enemy maana nikipumua usiku ako na wasiwasi nikiamka anauliza kwani ameamka tena maana yeye hutafuta njia za mikato ili ajaribu kukusimamisha let me tell you and i submit to you this the enemy will always try to stop you but you are unstoppable you are what tell your neighbor you are unstoppable hawezi kusimamishwa kuna mwito umeitwa now maishani mwako na huo mwito ni mwito wa ushindi you've been called to victory nothing can stop you i feel like starting to preach and i know it's time to stop <laughs> Because it's already 10 minutes to 6. I want to pick up on this message tomorrow morning for both services understanding spiritual warfare. And tomorrow as I promised I'll be praying with the people. People who have needs waje ni waombe kesho. Let's trust God for your situations and circumstances. Ambazo ziko katika hadi ambazo si nzuri. Tumwamini Mungu. Ndiona nikiwaita mje kwa maombi ya mkuji mnakaa tu kwa kiti. Ndio? Mnakaa tu kwa ya mkuji hapa mbele kwa maombi. Wanalika wamekuja, wametokea, wameinua hata wameokoka. Kule watu wameokoka. Leo. And there are so many who want to talk to me. I don't even have time. Wale wataka tuongee issues. Eh? Na wazazi je? It is not possible I call for people to come for prayers. And yesterday I felt there was something God was about to do in the midst of the people. Were there people for that? They are not there. And it's okay. Tomorrow I finish. I finish up. If you don't step out for your need, you connect your faith with the mind, we trust God, then I leave you in the same condition. Same condition where you are. But as I promised yesterday I will be praying with the people but in this is tomorrow in the during the second service I will be doing that Thank you God bless you I want to keep time because wado umunya kakahoa mulai mwai wogo Sheria kama iko hata kahawa inatolewa kwa shamba mara ni sheria I want to pray Heavenly Father we thank you. Asante kwa ajili ya neno lako. Umetupatia mwanzo. Kuna mambo mengi ungetaka uyatende katikati yetu. Zungumuza na wapendo wa hawa ambao umenipatia nafasi ya kuzungumza pamoja na wao. Tukaweze kushinda katika kila hali tunapoelewa umetwita kwa vita ya ushindi. Jina lako litukuzwe na jina lako linuliwe. Kwa jina safi la Yesu Kristo tunaomba na tunaamini. Amen. Mungu abariki, nataka nimwite mchungaji akuja tumalizie.
ili tuweze nitaendelea na ujumbe huu asubuhi kesho god bless you thank you let us appreciate uh, the man of god asante sana mchungaji mbogo for you the encouraging word ni vizuri kujua kwamba sisi wote tumeitwa na we are more than conquerors